So I invite you now to get into that amazing space of grace as you sit comfortably and consciously relax your whole body. Some say it works best to lightly close your eyes, shutting out any visual distractions and bringing your awareness inward. However, the most important thing is to do whatever is comfortable for you. So without straining or concentrating, just relax and gently follow my voice. Now take a deep breath in, slowly, to a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Now hold, and then release again slowly to a count of eight or 10. With the next slow inhale, fill up your lungs, fill up your core down to your navel so that you feel a slight pressure of the full lungs on your spinal column. And then release fully until you once again feel the light pressure of your empty lungs on the spinal column. This is called vagal breathing because you're putting pressure on the vagus nerve that runs down your spinal column and it instantly relaxes and de-stresses your body, releasing tension and anxiety and restoring balance. If you find your mind wandering during this meditation, that's okay. Just bring your, back, your focus back to this breath, right? Breathing technique. And breathe. You may have heard people say to you when you are experiencing toil and trouble, or just golden key it. Well, this technique was created by Emmett Fox in the 30s and be summed up to don't think about the problem. Don't think about your health problem. Don't think about your financial problem. Don't think about that irksome person who's annoying you. Think about God. Ah, but I wondered what happened as I said those things? I wonder if your thought went to that irksome person, that health problem, that financial concern. So here's the golden key part. Think of all the attributes of God rather than whatever it is that's annoying you. Whether you use Charles Fillmore's 12 powers or Emmett Fox's seven main aspects of God, it doesn't matter. Just think about the aspects of God. Turn the golden key away from the perceived dangers, toils, snares, and think about God. Fox calls this a treatment of scientific prayer. Now he acknowledges that it isn't always easy, especially at first to turn the golden key, but persevere. When your mind goes to the problem, affirm, I am now going to golden key, and then insert the name of the person of the problem right there. I am now going to Golden Key, Mary. And now turn your attention to God. God is life. When you are sick, discouraged, depressed, or tired, you are only partly alive. 
you have dimmed the full power and flow of God's life in you. So focus on joy. Joy is one of the highest expressions of God as life. Joy is a mixture of life and love. As you focus on joy, it has an expansive effect. Let's dial up joy right now. What makes you feel joy filled? A child's laugh? A beautiful sunrise? A golden sunset? A walk in nature? See it in your mind's eye. Hear it in your mind's ears. Feel it in your heart. God is truth. If you affirm God is truth in any troublesome or concerning situation, truth will be revealed. A troublesome person, a business deal, claim divine truth. Now move that concept from your head to your heart. God is truth. I claim divine truth in my life. I claim divine truth in my life. God is love, and love is all there is. Divine love is always present. It may be veiled, may be dimmed, but divine love is everywhere, and it never fails. Most importantly, divine love is within you and expands outward as you focus on it and as you focus on your heart. I am divine love. Whisper that, I am divine love. Feel it at the core of your being. Say it as many times as feels right for you. I am divine love. God is intelligence. The Bible says, basically in effect, whatever you think I am, that I will be to you. Whatever you think I am, that I will be to you. This means that we attribute to God every quality of an infinite, intelligent, loving personality. God will be just that to us. 
Whatever you think I am, I am to you. It's our personal God. More importantly, it's our personal relationship with God. What do you think God is? What is the I am for you? Choose what other aspects of God works for the situation and claim them for your own with the power of the I am. You may want to create your own I am affirmation for the treatment, or you may use Mr. Fox's. There is no power but God. I am a child of God, filled and surrounded by the perfect peace of God. God is love. God is guiding me now. God is with me. God is within me. Mr. Fox's instructions are simple. Do not struggle violently. Be quiet but insistent. And each time your mind wanders, it will, especially at first, switch it back to God. There is no power but God. I am a child of God, filled and surrounded by the perfect peace of God. God is love. God is guiding me now. God is with me. God is within me. Do not try to think in advance what the solution to your difficulty will be. This is called outlining and delays the demonstration Leave the question of ways and means to accomplish this to God. There is no power but God. I am a child of God. I am filled and surrounded by the perfect peace of God. God is love. God is guiding me now. God is with me. God is within me. Mr. Fox assures us, if we do our part, God will never fail to do God's part. There is no power but God. I am a child of God. I am filled and surrounded by the perfect peace of God. God is love. God is guiding me now. God is with me. God is within me. There is no power but God. I am a child of God. I am filled and surrounded by the perfect peace of God. God is love. God is guiding me now. God is with me. God is within me. Thank you, God. Namaste.